It's a big day. It's got the ring. It's on its way. It's down the road. Ah! But then again, you didn't have the right operator. There we go. The cab's not so big. Let's be <laughs> honest. It's not. It's not a social cab. It's a farming cab. It's a working cab. Ready? Ready? What is it? What, what is it? How, what how is many? It? Two. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do a Sunday video. And today's video is huge, and by the title of this video, you know I am not playing games with you. This is legit, and this is what's happened so far. It's a sad day for my dad. We'll have a chat with him in a minute. But yeah, it's on its way. The sun is shining, the day is good. Things are looking on the up. Farm life, Bob, like, you can't get rid of that. You ready? Yeah. yeah I'll open it just a bit. Don't forget the electric stuff. Ross was devastated when I said this was going. Hey, Ross. Yeah, so we can't believe it. He's upset, man. Getting wet. Getting me wet. Nearly new. Undersold. Undersold. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Go for lunch. She's better than she was. Emotional time, isn't it, Dad? Emotional time. The last job this will do. So, funny enough, it's funny this is the last trip. So this used to be about our old farm just there. And this is one of the reasons that Dad bought this tractor. The tractor should fit under here. That's how much space it had. Miniature. No, just fits under the bridge, the railway, and then our old farm was there, right there. I'm gonna pick up the uh, Tom Ripley's trailer even tomorrow. This wasn't meant to do this job. This is the last job. So we used to own this field. That hedge didn't used to be like that. It used to. There is a barbed wire fence, but it was farmed right to the edge. Now I think more of a set aside field. Yeah, we used to call it big field. We used to graze cows. So if anyone's read my book, this is quite interesting. This is this used to be our old farm. I don't know if anyone does find this interesting, but let's do it. So my mum and dad, that was the extension they did. It used to be that big. And uh, that was the lounge. That was my sister's room. I think that was the landing. That was spare room. That was the lounge, kitchen, mum and dad's room. And there was a loft on top of mum and dad's room. Didn't used to have a garage there. It used to have like a clamp here. Yeah, it's the old farm. You know, life happens and stuff. We might chat about that one day. It's interesting. We used to graze the cows from there. If anyone's read my book, it's graze the cows. We used to walk the cows down the road into there every day, twice a day. We used to milk them. Love to have it back. Like they didn't used to be wet patches and well, obviously a few wet patches. That used to be a wet field past the hedge. If anyone cares or bothers, but yeah, it's really interesting for us. Obviously what it used to be. Yeah. It's amazing, man. Huh? There she is. Is it a bad sign with the shoes stuck in the ground? Nearly on the track. Put the shoes in. Trailer. Not the biggest trailer in the world. However, that could help me for tomorrow, which we have another video bought. Her last voyage. <whistles> it's here. It's arriving. I've had the phone call. I've got the additive. I'm mixing two videos here. It's a busy day. I've had the phone call! Everyone come now! Everyone come now! This is a big day. You said yesterday we picked up the trailer. It's a big day! I think everyone knows. Oh, it's a big day. Right, let's get over the road. Meet Dad. Oh, I've just got the ring. It's on its way. It's down the road. Ah! <laughs>
back and it is a little bit of bedlam. You've seen the two Hurleymans driving in. You see we've got the trailer in. I don't know if you've seen it or not, um, but today is Maze as well. So we're cracking on with Maze this morning. It's just before eight o'clock, which is good on a Saturday. Got one up there. Fortunately, we are doing it. She is here. I can see her. I can see her. And we have a little bit of a surprise. favorite machinery hauler is back <laughs> Tom from Cornplate you're here wasn't it last week week before and you just seen that we had a demo in and it's finally happened we've made a bit of an adaption to it we'll show you we'll get them off we'll get and you did you hear that word we'll get them off no 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 I've won I am one I'll explain the reason why we'll get these off and we'll talk about them So that is right, we have two Maxim 150 cases. We had it on demo for the muck carting. You'd have seen that I was carting some grass, then I was carting uh, muck spreading, and I've been talking about this for a while. And it came about, I wasn't really in the market for it, but I was at the same time. It was a bit early because obviously we've just done a massive project. I've got a baby coming and I've got everything happening, but it was just right at the right time. And I thought, right, let's go for it. And We've gone for it and you'll see there's two and I'll explain why there's two in a minute. But I'm gonna grab Mark, because Mark is the guy who's talked us through it, who worked a lot of numbers out for me and um, because obviously we're doing it over years instead of obviously buying it outright because there was no chance in hell that I could buy it outright. So we're doing it over five years instead of four, which pay a little bit of interest on, but I was happy to pay a little bit of interest and get the repayments under a certain amount. Kind of all these kind of ways. Oh, it's there! Yeah, I put one in the bottom. Yeah. On there, and on yours, it's set the same on yours as well. Amazing. That'll do. Absolute legend. The double ones as well, Tom. If you want uh, a great deal on a case, go to Cornflakes. Mark will sort you out. We are going to catch you up and explain what's going on. Dad will catch us up in a minute. Yeah. Mark, should we just go for it? Yeah. So see, we have two case Maxims. No, it is not a buy one, get one free. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately not. We could keep trying. We're not um, asking. No. <laughs> mine is the one on the left and the one on the right is Kieran's. Yeah. So Kieran is actually trading in the John Deere. A lot of people are gonna say why, but there's a couple of reasons why. We'll just go through it with Mark, explain it, each one. The both tractors are identical, aren't they? Identical, yes. Identical. So Mirror what, image of each other. So what have we got here, Mark? Obviously, Case Maxim 150. What does it come with, back end, front end? Well, they were standard with uh, just a front linkage. Yeah. And then both customers opted to front, front PTO on. Yeah. So obviously at the front, as we'll see shortly, they've, we've fitted the front PTO kits to the front and a third service line to the front. Yeah. And then we've come down to the rear and because obviously the linkages are operated by the spools, which makes them more easy and uh, farmer friendly. That's so what like. we've teed the hydraulic services and the linkages into the front into the hydraulic services at the back. Yeah. With a tap on the rear there, which therefore that will switch your front linkage off. Yeah. And you can still utilise all of your services at the back rather than blocking these up and limiting back access yeah, yeah, for yeah. bigger hydraulic equipment. So all we've got to do is switch it off. We can Basically, use the front, turn switch the taps, it back, whichever way. Yeah, once you've turned the taps, you put a pa uh, connector pipe into there, you can operate anything hydraulic at the back without the worry that 
the front linkage goes it creeps itself down. Yeah. Obviously, the front spool service is always blocked off until you put something on, so you can still utilise the rears there. And also with the telescopic hitch, we tee that in as well because obviously once you've locked oh, wow. up, totally locked. That's good, isn't it? So it's not using it two yes, things. Yes. So our helium only has um, <coughs> three <coughs> options at the back spools, but two or well, one of them is used up by the hitch. So Correct. we have four yeah. free yeah. all the time. Yeah. That is really, really good. I mean, like the way is, that, is that an electric switch as well? Like, these... No, all manuals. No, they're all manuals. Yeah, yeah no, no, Stop no. For this, for, for, for the... Yeah, amazing. Thank you, Des. Uh, Appreciate that. Uh, so when you when you do it, I'm going to surprise Henry as well. Just lift up. How does that come out? Is that on a spool, the, the lock? No, that, that's on the, that oh, lever, the lever in the back there. In nah, the cab. Right. Okay. Yeah, back end lift on it. About yeah. nine to maximum capacity. Well, yeah. With uh, assisted, assisted yeah. rams, which Dad <laughs> loves the assisted yes. rams because yeah. our helium, what's our helium? It's five, five and a half tonne with, okay. uh, with twin assisters. Yeah, because yeah, you've got the yeah. bigger back end. Yeah. bigger back end. It's the back end of the next. It's the biggest back end on that engine. It, basically, the back end goes, the engines go up and up and up. Yeah. So. Nearly twice as big on the back end. We're 150 <clears throat> horsepower, aren't we? 150 horse on PTO, we boost 180. So you roughly have an average of about 160 on the engine. Yeah. But this tractor yeah. as well, we'll just go around the front of it, um, <coughs> gives us a lot more options to do more things. Our tractor is 16 years old. It's eight and a half thousand hours. Uh, 100 horsepower, obviously it's been 150. It, our tractor could have lost a couple of ponies out the back, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. it's a little bit old, it could be 98, whatever. Knows about our tanker, this should be on top of every single job, plus, you know, I really kind of specced up a little bit, probably a bit too high. We did look at other tractors, uh, we'll get into that in a bit. And the big thing for me as well, Mark has obviously sorted this out, the front PTO, because everyone knows that I want to get front mowers on to really start getting on. We do about 400 acres of, Grass first cut, and I think that is one of the most important things. Do you agree? Acres first cut. Oh, no, that was life. 400 <laughs> acres overall. 400 least, acres overall, probably. at least. So we really want to start to be getting on. Yes, we can run two mowers, but this, as in two tracks and two mowers, but this, if dad, you know, decides to go in hospital for a week again, I can kind of crack on. <laughs> this is a step up for the future. This yeah. is where we're going. With 15, last 15 years ago was a good step up then. This is another good step up. And what I do like about it, and I'll say this rightly, for the same chassis and for the same body, you've got a six-cylinder engine. Yeah. And it's covered by these bigger, wider-profile tyres, which That's is big thing compact. As well. Six is understandable. We tend to order certain or 650 different applications. Yeah. And obviously, like I say, it's less footprint on the ground, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. You know, and it, it, it follows but it well. You go wider, then we've still got to get it around our yard. And you That's done, the only thing. You haven't done that yet. Yeah, we'll get it in, don't you but worry. But the advantage of a good six-cylinder, it is not strained. That yeah. engine will be able to be totally the same engine capacity and will probably go up to the next step and the next step again. All you do is tweak it and tweak yeah. it. So it's got to be on top of its job. It's going to be a good, big, lazy six cylinder. For reference, while we're talking, I'm pulling that trailer with about 17 bales on yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Big bales of silage, quite big. Second gear on the Hurleyman. 800 revs, not a problem. 800 revs, not a problem. Never died, never, they went setting off the clutch, got going, 1,000 revs, 1,100, went down to 800, just pulled down our track, not a problem, never gave in. That's the advantage of that little old tractor. It had guts mm. and, and it's tight, yeah. it's good. And the Hurleymans are fantastic tractors. We can't, obviously we love them, we have two of them, but we just needed a step up and I wanted yeah. to go bigger. Me and Mark have been discussing for probably, six to eight weeks of just how to do things. Mark's done a really good job of moving stuff for, for me because it, just, it had to work on the numbers as well, on the sheets. We've gone for it. This is actually not mine. This one is mine. So this is Kieran's. So Kieran from over the road. We have here, you are running the John Deere 6120M, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've gone for the bigger Maxim as well. Yeah. Um, a bit like myself for bigger tires, yeah. more power, and you're kind of going to go into the groundworks kind yeah, of job, aren't you? we're finishing here. We've been having this for three or four years now doing this farm renovation and stuff like that and we've got all these machines sat here and we need to move them yeah yeah so um so that's what kieran's going into it's uh, river properties so you'll see them around of our videos and you'll see the guys help us all the time and they're going to do more so they can take him to places and do more jobs off farm as well so um, that's why kieran's gone for that he kind of so kieran ran this with me when we had the spreaders i went in the john deere you'd have seen and then kieran went in the case we both had a little bit of a, a play in it a play in it and we've gone for bigger it's a 50k speed as well which is fantastic it's a very very simple cab inside as well and I had the case Maxim on demo, which was one of my well, it was my favourite case. It was I, I loved that case. We had mm -hmm. the Luxum and then we had the Vesta. The Vesta was a fantastic tractor as well. I was it, it probably was too technical for me really for what we're gonna do because we do basic stuff. Yeah. And and this is just the standard 
standard, uh, as they call it, the Active 4, which uh, oh. because it's 50k, it'll be a 17 and 16 transmission. Yep. You've got a high and low gear lever on the ex next to the door. Yep. Provision low when you like the. It all comes display. on to it. Yeah, yeah, you've got A and B. You'll see in the video, we're doing the maze today, and I'll explain loads of it whilst we're in the maze um, as well. Yeah, C and D, obviously, D's, your raw gear. Yep. Two speed yep. for field work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, you can, can change from trailer work to plowing works, that's how it works. Yep. The plows the field. The trailer's the thing. And uh, yeah, so you've got also auto field, auto road, but yeah. it's just keeping it basic, simple. Because I was dubious, oh, I wasn't I dubious, you know, yeah, we've got to, yeah, we've got yeah, to be yeah. honest. Yes, and yeah. I was a bit like, I'm, I'm using this Pro 900 box, or Pro 700, I can't remember what it was. It was fantastic, it was great. And then I just ran in this, I did two runs in that spread, and I was like, what am I doing? Um, mechanical spools, because dad loves them. Really, really simple. A little bit, a USB fin, USB fin. That was a little add-on I had. Uh, Marcus sorted out, I said, uh, what I would like is seat covers. We've got seat covers and we get jackets as well. So you get really expensive seat covers and jackets with a free tractor. That's how it works. That's basically, they're expensive, they're expensive <laughs> seat covers. <laughs> Again, a big thank you to Mark from Cornflakes, John Cornflakes as well. Unfortunately, he couldn't come today. It would have been great to finally, after we've done a couple of demos, we've gone through some stuff. I know we bought the McHale spreader. Dad actually bought some grass harrows, which we didn't film, but it was, it was a busy day that day. It's nice to just finally go, yep, yeah, John, we've gone it, we've done it. Um, after three demos, four demos, tractor we liked we tried the hurling I, mean, I didn't want to try loads of different brands it's just it's not something i wanted to do i kind of want to fit to it and then we found this one fell in love with it and uh we've gone for it happy days happy, they're happy days they're here it's fantastic we're half an hour away from maze but we have the big surprise coming as well mr henry is going to be here yeah yeah i think we're happy dad I'm, yeah i'm very happy i'm very pleased for yourself really because i can't don't get me wrong 15 years there's no point in going backwards you've got to go forwards yeah and this is going forwards this is basically future proofing the, the the grunt work on our farm now we're farming more land than whatever yeah, yeah. grunt work for the next 10 years yeah. right in 10 years time you may be wanting to exchange it and upgrade again or you don't have to go any bigger the sophistication will come. I mean, what's happened to the hurling? But we've got better gearboxes, we've got better yeah, hydraulics, yeah. you've got better power, you've more sophistication in the cab for you lads who are on the phone all the time and everything else. <laughs> Not necessarily me, I like to listen to things. But, and also, you've got a comfortable place to work. Yeah. Last thing you want to work is something like I'm supposed to used to, the door falling off, back window. That's why you've got bad knees, you're butt raking yeah, with an yeah. old like Nash, haven't you? Do you well, know what I mean? Bear in mind as well, you've got three years' peace of mind, a 3,000 hour warranty with yeah, that yeah, tractor, yeah. and his base warranty right through the board. Well, yeah. that's, that's fantastic. That is what you want on a new tractor. Yeah. If we're training it in three years' time. Well, that's what it, we'd look to hope to do, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. We Andrew. would do, but <laughs> I would say mainly is because yeah. things have started going wrong with it. Uh, no, no. Well, no. I was speaking. I was speaking to. I was speaking to someone yesterday, and that makes sense if you trade it in. You know, you. It's not as big as jump. It's a massive jump for yeah. myself. Um, obviously, the John Deere is worth more than my Hurleyman. You know, it's not as big a jump, but it is a big jump again because you know we don't do it all the time. It's 16 years. If we yeah. did it all the time, it would just be like little payments. You know, compared to what it is at the yeah. moment. And, and it continues a peace of mind. Well, we need to get going because Henry's got nursery at half nine, and he's about to see it. So everyone wants to see. Henry, go and see it. But Mark, I'd like to say a massive thank you for everything done. Thank send John our best as well. Yeah, send you. Yes, I will do. I uh, will do. Yeah. Great no, team. Put my name on that board, <laughs> Dad's trying to buy another little tractor. But yeah, this one's mine. Oh, right, let's go find Henry. Where is he? Where is he? If you want to buy your TP merch, it's at Tom Pemp Tash Farm Life. TP merch, the best merch ever. He's gone shy now. Right, okay. Henry, we're going to see it. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Cover your eyes. Daddy will carry you around. Oh, good boy. Look at that nice tight Good boy, he's got tight eyes. eyes. Yeah. Tight Look, eyes. He's even covering them with his hands. Oh, well. yeah, tight, tight. Oh, 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 oh. Keep, the, keep them shut, keep them shut. Ready? Ready? What is it? What, what is it? Two. How, what how is many? It? Two. Two. Should Two we go tractors. in? Should we, we'll go in, we'll go in that one. Has Uncle Tommy bought a new tractor? Yeah. 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 Oh, Look, right, so now, Henry. <laughs> yeah. There's a spare seat. Look at this. So when Uncle Tommy or Grandpa goes rolling, you can, well, go now you can sit on that seat and do it. Well, when you're a bit older. <laughs> what do we think? Do you like it? Yeah, yeah? cool. <laughs> I think the challenge now is going to be trying to get out of it. God. You'll already be at nursery, little man. 
<laughs> Henry just said, so we're, we're, we've okay. just planning something to uh, take some tractors to nursery. Henry's just only down the road, and uh, Dad's going to take it. We're all going to take one, like uh, Des, Luke, me, and Dad. And Henry's just said, which one do you want me to take? Hen Henry will be already at nursery. So, yeah, very cool. He's very, very excited. But unfortunately, now the sad thing is we've got to load him back up. So. Our Hurleyman XB Max 100 07 plate, 16 years old, nearly 17, eight and a half thousand hours, 100 horsepower. She's leaving. Absolute sad. <laughs> sad, sad, sad. This has been the best tractor we've had on the farm yeah. to date. Quickest you ever got to chipping on this as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was only a 40k box, but it really was. It did upgrade our tractors. We used to have an old 955, 956 Nash, six cylinder, 100 horse, 95 horse symbol. I remember that big thing. Oh, and it was a bit of an old tug compared to this. This has been a good tractor. We've had it from new, yes. from Tunstall's affair. We love Hurleyman, you just seen it. We get mad for Hurleyman. Yeah, for the Hurleyman covered our uh, needs because up to 100 horsepower or just above, it was ideal for us. But now we've got farming a few more acres. We've got other interests in maize and other crops, maybe. Thomas carting bigger trailers, bigger mucks, feathers. This was just to its limit. Yeah. And it, rather than break this tractor, I'd rather someone have the best out of this again, rather than break it for breaking its sake. But the gearbox and everything is 15 years behind the advancement of that. What this tractor needs, or what I would get if I had, if I had another one of these, which it may do in the time, great, great again, one with more gears, yeah. A power Splitter, shift, yeah, power yeah. shift. Don't have to go and clutch all the time. No, more gears and a bigger hydraulic pump. Right. The hydraulic pump on this is very, very limited. It's slow tipping trailers, as yeah, you yeah. know. And if you're driving a lot of things with the hydraulics, it doesn't have the capacity that they will have. Yes, there's three operative spools at the back, but you would have one with bigger hydraulics. Maybe front linkage, if front linkage is the way to go, if we do more crops. But as a tractor, as an engine, the Deutsch engine, it never gives it. Yeah. Never gives it. What a cracking engine. Never ever, eight and a half thousand hours, look at this side better really. It's never had a drop of oil. It's never, between services, it's never burnt any oil. Whoever gets this tractor, because um, we've traded it in and they've already got a buyer for it ish. Yeah. Um, yeah. They don't know it's ours, they don't know anything, you know. Um, just, I don't know if that helps or not. Big tyres, that made it, didn't it? Oh. It changed it. The it Alliance, changed, uh, Alliance, yeah, Alliance Agri-Star 2s, weren't they? Agri -Star twos. Unreal. Yeah, it, the biggest they could put on these rims, it changed it from a good tractor to a fantastic tractor. As a field tractor, it pulled everything we had with no problems at all. Handy stockman tractor, handy farm tractor, enough lift at the back for us, 100 horsepower tractor. With the bigger lift at the back yeah. end. Uh, it did everything. The only thing we would change, yeah, yeah go on. Would have different Hooks. link arms. Hooks link arms. Oh, they've had enough of them. If you ever want to buy a good tractor tyre, they've, they've been on a while now, not showing anywhere. No, no, no. And they get set, it's all about this second, um, yeah. second like life, this bit here. Yeah. Good tyres, Alliance Agri Star 2s, buy them. But, but Paul, Paul, they, 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 I don't know why it is, but when it did get into some wet, sticky ground, the cleats cleaned themselves very quickly. Yeah, 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 really the, fast. The tyres were the thing. We did get stuck with going. an empty trailer a bit ago. <laughs> um, yeah, that yeah. was, yeah. But, but, but then again, the, you didn't have the right operator. There we go. The cab's not so big, let's be <laughs> honest. It's not, it's not a social cab. It's a farming cab, it's a working cab. Sorry, I mean, I've, we've got maize in 20 minutes, so I'm kind of trying to do everything at once. Yeah, it's a working cab, I'm afraid. <laughs> Isn't it the first new tractor you bought? No, it's Did not the not? first new one we bought. That, I, don't, I don't know. No, the first new one I've bought since the, we've uh, went to the farm sales or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's the first new one I've bought. My father bought one, two, three new ones before me that we've all used and lost. But yeah. yeah, life on it, aged. It was a big change for us because we're Case, case IH men. So we went to this because we're looking at changing it for our old Case IH for another Case IH. But it just was... And it was, it was zero special. APR on it. See, it was you know, they, let, let, let's be honest, that was a little thing. You know, they make the difference when you buy a piece of kit. And I've been very fortunate in the last four years. The amount of changes we've done is oh. unreal. It is unreal. And it, it's been a, a big thanks to everyone watching the videos. I know I say it all the time, but like dairy farm is hard. And I've been very fortunate. I'll explain it later on. Like 
So I just reinvest back into the farm, back into the farm. So dad's trading this tractor in, I'm buying the other one. It's kind of a bit of a yeah, weird well, way of doing it. Yeah, I'm, well, I've given it you. Yeah, I've, I've, I've given, given me it, the tractor. I've given it you, for the so trade -in. if I give it to you, what you've done with it, it doesn't hurt me as much. No, no, no. <laughs> you've got something out of it. Yeah, well, so we both it. have. Sad times? Sad times. It's like losing an old friend. <laughs> Oh, that'll do. You're having a Dad's having an XL, but he said you'll get to his jacket one day. <laughs> Have you got me? Oh, you want those in it? Uh, yeah, I knew you'd want them. Just... That tractor there will do everything that new case of yours will do, right? Right. Will do everything. However... Do you want to put money on it? Yeah. <laughs> However, that case can't do everything that tractor can do. I think you've got that the wrong way. No, no, no. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you think we made the right decision. Obviously two great tractors going, but two great tractors arriving. Different tractors are different jobs. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Very sad it's gonna go. I'd love to drone it to go, but I need to get home, get amazing, um, and get started. Guys, thank you very much. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a fantastic day. Because hopefully, I'm going to have the best. Oh, I've got a maternity appointment today. It's half ten, so busy. See you later.